Welcome to lesson two of the designer zipper pouch video class. So in this lesson, it's all about zippers. I really like the wide handbag zippers. They have a nice big zipper pull, as you can see here, a nice big zipper tape, and they're just really easy, high quality. It makes for a designer zipper pouch. This is what we want. You can use the smaller, regular zippers, the dress making zippers, if you like but I totally suggest and prefer that you use this type of zipper and I will put in the blog post that goes along with this video course some sources where I um, buy these zippers. First of all, we need a zipper that is nine inches in length, not including, we wanna get rid of these little stoppers here, the metal stoppers that could break your needle if you hit them. And since this one is plenty long, it will be easy for me to get a nine inch zipper. And you see that I already marked it with a pencil, nine inches. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it off here. Now, that's one end. And I wanna make sure to put, make sure the slider is in the middle of the zipper so I don't lose it. Now, if you cut the slider off, you can put it back on it. I'm just gonna go ahead here and cut this zipper on my mark so I have exactly nine inch long zipper because my rule of thumb is that the zipper is going to be one inch shorter than the top edge of the pouch. And this will all become clear as we go along on why this makes such a great uh, technique and why it's really easy to have a really pretty, pretty zipper installation. I'm going to show you how I use the zipper by the yard instead of just a regular zipper to cut it off, to put on the right size slider. And I'll also show you how I use my sewing machine to just make my own little thread stopper at either end that makes it really easy. And also I'm not gonna accidentally pull the slider off and then have to put it back on again. So here's my zipper by the yard. I've got about a yard left of it. There were four yards in the package. So what I'm gonna do here is measure nine inches from this and then just cut it off. Just gonna measure nine inches and cut off a nine inch piece that I will use. Now, since this is the zipper by the yard, then I just pull it apart and I've got a little bag of pulls here that came with it. So insert these into the little pole. It would be nice to have a third hand when you're doing this, but there we go. So. I'm just going to even this up a little bit. It is starting to fray, so I'm going to really go quick now and sew it into my project. I'm going to go ahead and sew myself a little stopper here because I don't want to accidentally pull off the pull. I could put it back on, but that's annoying. And I still have my fuchsia thread that I was using for the quilting, but it's going to be just fine. Okay, so I sewed back and forth with basting stitches. I think that'll hold long enough at the very ends of my zipper. So I have a nine inch zipper that has the new thread stoppers here and I can sew it to my back. 